Hi, this is Josh from MYOB Enterprise Solutions. In this video, we're going to look at how to create a purchase order in MYOB Advanced. The purchase order screen uses a standard kind of data entry screen that's common across the MYOB Advanced system. You can open the purchase order screen from the Purchases workspace. Because the MYOB Advanced interface is completely customizable, your menu may look different, but in any case, you can find the purchase orders window by using the universal search function at the top of every screen. As with most MYOB Advanced screens, when you first open the Purchase Order screen, it displays a list of existing documents that you can filter or search. To create a new order, click the New button in the main toolbar. Depending on how your system has been set up, you may be able to create different types of orders. Dropship orders for cases where stock is shipped directly from your supplier to your customer, blanket orders for a longer time interval or larger quantity of goods than your company currently needs, and standard orders that act as templates for normal orders. But for a regular purchase order, we can just keep the default. Choose the customer that the order is being made for, and the location will be filled in by default, although you can change it if you need to. You can also enter a description and a supplier reference code, but these are all optional. You can now add line items to the purchase order. Click the Add button, select the stock item to add, and set the quantity. The default branch will be selected. If you're operating with multiple branches, you can choose a different one if you want. You can select a stock item by typing part of its name into the field, or by clicking the magnifying glass button to open a search window. You can also add items for multiple lines at once using the Add Item button. Tick the boxes for each item you want, enter quantities, and then click Add and Close. A separate line is created for each item, and you can then go through and edit them further if you need to, or reorder them by clicking on a line and dragging it into a new position. One thing to note is the line type on each line. Different types of item are treated differently when it comes to processing the order further, as we'll see in a later video. Once all lines have been added, you can save the order. You'll see that an order number is assigned once it's saved. To begin with, the order is in the hold status. While it's on hold, you can continue to edit it and add, remove, or reorder lines. To process the order further, you'll need to take it off hold. Once it's ready, you'll probably want to send a copy of the order to your supplier. You can click Print Purchase Order from the Reports drop-down to generate a PDF copy of the order, which you can print out and send to the supplier. You can also select Email Purchase Order from the Actions menu to email a copy of the order to the email address set up for the supplier. And that's the end of our look at creating purchase orders. If you want to learn more, visit the MYOB Advanced Education Centre or see the other videos in our Advanced Academy series for more information on the purchasing process. Thanks for watching.